heading to the last defenses between Baghdad and so-called Islamic State fighters. In recent weeks, the IS attacked this route on the western edge of the capital. We're traveling with two powerful sheikhs. Their task? To rally the tribes and help stop the enemy at the gates of Baghdad. There have been heavy battles right here, Sheikh Ali tells me. Our brothers were here, he says, pointing to the gunmen. Don't be fooled by their relaxed pose. The front line lies along that horizon. Beyond that, just 16 miles away, IS is in charge. And there are intense clashes. You can feel the tension here. This is the border between us and IS. They threaten the Baghdad protective belt. We need air support from civilized countries like the US and Britain. When fighters of the so-called Islamic State moved with lightning speed across northern Iraq in June and took the second city of Mosul, it set off alarm bells in many capitals, including Baghdad, with fear that they could also move in here. And now, after more than six weeks of airstrike, the people of Baghdad still feel threatened. And you can see why. Islamic State fighters are about five miles away. Iraqi soldiers like this young man are on front lines near Baghdad. He survived a massacre. Out of 500 troops, only 30 lived. He still fears for his life. This is the first interview by a survivor. We heard the IS fighters. They were shouting, Allahu Akbar. They started to shoot us. Bodies were falling on top of me, hiding me. There was blood everywhere. Then my mobile started to ring. One of the IS answered it and said, this is the mobile of your coward brother. We have shot and beheaded the cowards. The IS have a tradition after they shoot people. They cut their heads off to show how many they have killed. They started to cut, but their call is called from the bridge. Come, come, leave them. More soldiers are coming. Iraq faces an unprecedented crisis, this prominent MP tells me. The Iraqi state is facing for the first time an existential threat. This existential threat is that there's somebody else claiming sovereignty over Iraqi territory. Nobody else did it. That never happened before. Did you fear they could make it to Baghdad? Well, they are 26 kilometers from where we're sitting now. Even Western and Iraqi airstrikes haven't helped these fighters push back the IS forces. They're only holding the line. Lise Doucette, BBC News, Baghdad.